Lock had been seven, so I'm never gonna doubt you Well then, the good shepherd, call a sheep by their names too When my love knocks on the door, won't be like any other yellow thing The Lord is tired of these cathedrals filled with idols and things. And the Lord saith in His Word that He will destroy these idols and these false synagogues. And we're going to go over a couple verses here. Leviticus 19.4 Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26, 1, Ye shall make no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 26.30 And I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols and my soul shall abhor you. Jeff, the cathedral is in the heart of Paris, both literally and figuratively. It's on the island, the Ile de la Cité, right in the centre, and it attracts millions of visitors, but it's also a very special symbol for Parisians. You can see the spire, or you used to be able to, and the, it was... It's also exactly where point zero for France is, right in front of the cathedral. It's where everything is measured to the rest of the country. Now, it's in a very built-up area because it's residential. It's the heart of Paris. There are cafes and restaurants that will have made it very difficult for the firefighters to get near. Is that why there aren't, uh, they haven't been using water yet? That's unclear. They have been trying to put up uh, ladders to get higher and high enough. But with the blaze taking over so much of the building so quickly, they may be just afraid to go too near. Look at these pictures. Uh, that, the, so you've been looking, you've been re-racking this. You've been looking at the... Uh, terrible to look at the spire as it collapsed there on Notre Dame. This happened just a short time ago. No effort or at least no progress as far as we can tell in containing this fire. But Elaine, talk more about the construction that's going on right now or that has been going on. Well, Notre Dame has been crumbling of late and um, the part of that problem is that there are so many organizations involved in running and the upkeep of the cathedral. And we talked to them last year and they said, you know, we, we need a fortune to get this back to the state it needs to be. There were gargoyles and statues falling off the back of the cathedral. There were gargoyles and statues falling off the back of the cathedral. And they wanted to rebuild part of the inside to rework a lot of the stone, the flying buttresses, many of them are gone. Uh, if you look up at Notre Dame, you couldn't necessarily tell, but in fact, some of what looked like it was still a stone parapet was in fact just wood made to look like the stone, filling in the gaps. So 
Deuteronomy 29, 17. And ye have seen their abominations and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. An awful lot of work underway, and they had been looking for funds in the U.S. as well, uh, appealing to friends of Notre Dame and... First Kings 15:12. And he took away the Sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. 1 Kings 21 and 26 And he did very abominably in following idols, according to all things as did the Amorites, whom the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. 2 Kings 17 12 For they served idols, whereof the Lord has said unto them, Ye shall do, I mean, ye shall not do this thing. People who. The Lord is getting tired of all the deception coming from the Catholic churches. You're going to start seeing a lot of these cathedrals burning up. And it's not by the hands of man, even if it is. It's not. Who, are, uh, who love historical monuments and would help. So the work uh, was, as I said, just this week, they took down the statues that climb up the spire in order to renovate them and to work on the spire. Um, and, but now, of course, that won't be necessary. Second Kings 23, 24. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards, and the images, and the idols, and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, did Josiah put away, that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book that Hilkiah the priest found in the house of the Lord. Unfortunately so. Elaine, stand by. Um, we are getting word now in from police. They are saying at this point, no deaths. So that would indicate that somebody cleared out either as this was happening or no one was inside when this actually started. The cause at this hour unknown. But to reset what you're looking at here, we've been watching these pictures now roll in uh, for just a little over an hour now. Uh, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. The iconic cathedral is burning at this hour. The spire has collapsed. Mikey. First Chronicles 16:26. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Second Chronicles 15:8. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Oded the prophet. He took courage and put away the abominable idols out of the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. Kay joins us now on the phone. He is there. Mikey, tell us what you're seeing and hearing. Uh, I've just been uh, covering the area for the last 35 minutes then I got down to the north side of the scene which is known as the right bank I was about 200 meters away and uh, I basically saw the 300 foot spire that was uh, engulfed in flames um, as I was speaking to one of your producers when they were asking me what I could see I said the 300 foot spire was engulfed but I didn't know how long the structure or the integrity of the structure would be able to hold, given that it had been burning for at least 30 minutes. And then literally as I came on air uh, with you, the spire, the 300 foot spire collapsed right in front of me. Psalms 96.5 For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Psalm 97 and 7 Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Not to spy, but sits behind the two square structures uh, that are almost as high. I think they're almost 250 feet 
but they're the ones that are synonymous with Notre, Notre Dame Cathedral. When you look at it from the front, you see the two big square structures in front of you, and then there's the spire behind. Since that report, uh, I've walked down, and I'm now literally just north of Pont de Acol. Uh, that is a bridge which crosses to the island that Notre Dame is on. Uh, it has been cordoned off by police. There are uh, thousands and thousands of observers, of tourists, of locals. It is rush hour. It's uh, just past 8 o'clock local time in Paris. And now I can see the back end of the spire. So uh, if you imagine the, uh, the two big square structures at the front of the cathedral, then to the rear of the cathedral, you have uh, effectively the main infrastructure where you would walk into the cathedral uh, and you would pray uh, and you would see all of the, uh, you know, the beautiful French Gothic architecture. That now... Uh, is still up in flames. The flames are as intense uh, as they were when, they, when I arrived 35 to 40 minutes ago. Second Chronicles 24, 18. And they left the house of the Lord God of their fathers and served groves and idols. And wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem for this their trespass. Uh, the spire has now gone. Uh, and I can now effectively see flames which are uh, around 200 feet high um, and the remnants of what looks like uh, the final components of uh, the infrastructure of Notre Dame Cathedral. There is literally nothing left apart from uh, the skeleton at the back end. The two main structures, the big square structures that, uh, that extend up to around 200, 250 feet, they remain intact at the moment. But the blaze is, because of about of a, 10, a 10 to 15 knot wind, the blaze is pushing the heat, the flames and the smoke over uh, the two big square structures. But at the moment, they look fairly intact. All right, those, those structures remain intact, but the roof has has in fact collapsed. Um, Mikey, from what you can tell, what, what, are, what are firefighters doing? Second Chronicles 34, 7. And when he had broken down the altars and the groves, and had beaten the graved images into powder, and cut down all the idols throughout all the land of Israel, he returned to Jerusalem. Um, unfortunately, from my, from my standpoint, um, the cathedral sits uh, just behind what looks like government buildings and what looks like residential buildings, and they're fairly tall. Uh, they're about 100 feet high, so all I can see effectively is the top uh, of the, the very top of the cathedral and about the top 75 feet of the two square structures. Um, so basically I can't really see much of, uh, of the firefighting uh, capability that the, um, that the French firefighters uh, are doing. Uh, but what I can see is pretty much that the French police have uh, responded pretty rapidly uh, and have cordoned off uh, the entire area out to what looks like about 100 meters. So effectively, I think the police cordon extends uh, out to, uh, and as I just, as I'm watching now, literally the, 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 there is, there is 200, 250 foot flames bellowing, uh, from the cathedral. Some of the flames literally extending up to, you know, 50 feet from the, uh, from the top of what was, uh, the roof, the cloud filling the Parisian sky and the, uh, uh, and the sunset as well, which was a beautiful sunset until the fire happened about an hour ago. Mikey K, stand by if you would for us. We, we, we really appreciate the information there. We also have Ian Lee with us. He's a CBS correspondent in London uh, to talk more about um, <clears throat> what's happening, what, what we're watching, these pictures unfolding here in Paris at this hour. Ian, talk about, this was a, the, the project at Notre Dame, it was a big one, it was a, it was a delicate one, and, and as we're seeing now, a, a, a dangerous one as well. Yeah, that's right. This is a $6.8 million renovation project that has been underway for quite some time to really fix up the structure of Notre Dame. And, and we're hearing that possibly this fire was started from that work, although firefighters right now aren't confirming the cause of this blaze. Psalm 106.36 And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. For those who don't know what a snare is, it's a trap. Psalm 106.38 And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, 
and the land was polluted with blood. Psalm 115 and 4, their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Amen. Psalm 135, 15, the idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. Isaiah 2, 8, their land also is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands that which their own fingers have made. Isaiah 2.18 And the idols he shall utterly abolish. Hallelujah. Isaiah 2 and 20 In that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, the moles and to the bats. Isaiah 10.10 10. As my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Isaiah 10.11 Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Uh, but there's a lot of valuable, priceless artwork that is inside that cathedral. And what we're hearing right now is firefighters are working hard to try to save as much of that as possible. I mean, this is really an icon of Paris. Uh, and every moment that goes by, this fire is spreading. And so while they try to stop that fire, they're, they're trying to save what they can, the history of Paris. This is a, a building that is eight, uh, 800 years old. And so you have all of that, but you do have a lot of that ancient wood that's inside and that's really what's causing this fire to take hold and spread uh, that roof is collapsing uh, so it is also very dangerous for these firefighters to go inside and operate because you do have falling debris uh, from that roof from other areas and so while they are fighting to put this out they're also got to be worried about their own safety as they go in and try to save what they can while they're trying to put out this fire uh, we're also hearing from the French president uh, he put a message out on Twitter and he said, I'm sad tonight to see this part of all of us burn. It just shows you how iconic Notre Dame is, not just for the people of Paris, but really the world. It is the most visited site in Paris. 13 million tourists a year go there. Uh, and that this is a place that was also getting ready for Easter weekend uh, that's coming up. Uh, so it was preparing for celebration. But tonight uh, we're seeing this disaster unfold. What about Paris? <laughs> Isaiah 19.1 The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. You know, if you think about it, them idols in these cathedrals have a lot to do with Egypt in their idols. Isaiah 19.3 And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. Disaster indeed. Our Ian, Ian, thanks very much. Elaine Cobb is, uh, is in, look at, there's the, um, so this was this is the spire immediately what you're looking at right now is the spire immediately before it collapsed so the spire at notre dame is gone fell down the roof collapsed as far as we hit uh, getting close to sunset here in paris it's just after eight o'clock in paris as firefighters continue their response uh, lane cobb is is in paris as well Lane, you're getting some new information here what are you hearing a church spokesman has just told French media that all of Notre Dame Cathedral's frame is now burning after the spire collapsed and after most of the roof has collapsed. So um, that would be the entire interior in flames because, of course, it's, it's a, while the exterior is stone, there is so much wood in there that it would all go up so quickly. Isaiah 31.7 for in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. 
Isaiah 45, 16. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. Ian was talking about that to the, the priceless works of art. Elaine, I wonder, do you know anything about what was done to secure those or b before this construction project began? Well, the construction project has been making every effort to not interfere with the day-to-day -day workings of the church, with masses, with visits. So a lot of the artwork was still there. They were working piece by piece on different areas of the church, so only moving what was needed so that it wouldn't interfere with the pleasure for people coming to visit it. And so there would have been still an awful lot inside, and firefighters have been trying to get some of them out. Um, crowds of people gathered in the area in front of the cathedral Cathedral. All of them have been staring in horror as the fire took hold and as the fire collapsed. Police have been moving them farther and farther back because, of course, it's very dangerous and um, there are concerns now about buildings nearby. There are apartment blocks and restaurants and cafes just across the street from the church. And so uh, while one side has the river and gardens, the other side is literally a narrow street away from other buildings, so a lot of concern about that. Now, French President Emmanuel Macron is on his way to the church. He's already tweeted about his sorrow at losing a part of France's history. Uh, he was due to address the nation tonight about social issues and the Yellow Vest protests. He has now cancelled that, um, and this, of course, taking over everything here at the moment. Elaine, you bring up an, a very an interesting point there, the, the fact that there are restaurants and so many other shops nearby and uh, one of our eyewitnesses talked about uh, how the wind is blowing at a, at a significant clip there in in Paris this evening which is which which is helping to fan those flames and we hope uh, not carry those flames to any other nearby structures um, we are you, you are seeing the water being poured on it now which we weren't seeing for for a while so firefighters are uh, keeping a, a decent distance there but at least getting some uh, water on Notre Dame Cathedral right now. We, um, we've just seen a, a, a tweet from, from the First Lady. We mentioned the tweet from the French President Emmanuel Macron. Uh, he said earlier, I'm sad tonight to see this part of all of us burn. This is what the First Lady just said. My heart breaks for the people of Paris after seeing the fire at Notre Dame Cathedral, praying for everyone's safety. Isaiah 46.1 Bell boweth down, Nebo stoopeth. Their idols were upon the beast and upon the cattle. Your carriages were heavy loaded. They are a burden to the weary beast. And take us back into the, the, uh, the geography and, and, and the street set up there and where, where people are being taken to and, and into the neighborhood there. And, and, and what concerns firefighters are continuing to deal with right now. Well, it's a very crowded area right at the heart of Paris. The Ile de la Cité is one of the two islands where Paris first began, where this city was born. And Notre Dame has been at the heart of it um, for hundreds of years. Isaiah 57, 5. Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys, under the cliffs of the rocks? Jeremiah 50 and 2 Declare ye among the nations, and publish, and set up a standard. Publish, and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. And so right in there, there are cafes, there are restaurants, there are homes. A lot of people live around there. It's uh, obviously very popular and very wealthy real estate, but it's also in between, um, it's in the River Seine, so you've got the river on 
the back and at one side. And on the other side, you have just a narrow street separating the church from buildings, from cafes, from restaurants. In front of it, there is that big square which is kept empty, uh, you know, of buildings of uh, vendors. It is where people queue to get in. It is where people stand to take photographs. It's where people find themselves on that spot that marks the centre of France from which all uh, distances are measured. And it's an area that people go to just to contemplate and be peaceful. And it's an area they go to say, I have been to Notre Dame, to the heart of Paris, and here's my photo from it. And it is a piece of French cultural life that is disappearing before everyone's eyes. Jeremiah 50, 38. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. And there, and there was a determination, Elaine, to, to keep it open as much as possible while, the, while all this construction and renovation was going on. Yes, there was a, a very concerted effort to ensure that people could still enjoy um, the cathedral, enjoy the artworks, could still go to Mass there, could still go to the various services. And of course, with Easter week, this is a very special week for Notre Dame. And it would have had many people planning a trip here this week and people already going for prayers. So a lot of people there, the crowds who were evacuated from the area are still nearby trying to see what's happening. But they've been moved back um, more than a street at this stage uh, in order to keep it safe. Now, the junior interior minister says there have been no injuries at this stage reported from the fire. And the Paris prosecutor's office says it has started an inquiry into... Ezekiel 6-4 And your altars shall be desolate and your images shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain men before your idols. Ezekiel 6.5 And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones round about your altars. Ezekiel 6.6 6. In all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 6, 9 And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes, which go a whoring after their idols, and they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in, their, in all their abominations. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Second Kings 21.11 Because Manasseh, king of Judah, hath done these abominations, and hath done wickedly above all that the Amorites did, which were before him, and hath made Judah also to sin with his idols. And he walked in all the way that his father walked in, and served the idols that his father served, and worshipped them. And welcome back to the Heads, Not the Tales. I'm Brother Christopher Christopher. And today I want to talk about Psalm 50. Let's get into Psalm 50. A Psalm of Asaph. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence, a fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous 
round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds, for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, For unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consented with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done. And I keep silent, and I kept silent. Thou, I kept silent, though test that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, that ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Amen. Sorry about that. That's my dog, China, right there. <laughs>